John, could you do me a favor and elaborate a little bit more about your interpretation and the symbolist interpretation or meaning of immortality and its relationship to transcendence? It seems to me to be one of the mo more problematic aspects of, of what it was that they were trying to do in relationship to a civilization and an individual soul. It's certainly very ambiguous. Uh, I think Graham mentioned, you know, it's a 50-50 shot. Does it exist? Does it? There's no proof. So is it all hinged on immortality, or how, how are they interpreting it from your point of view? Ah, well, okay. That's a, that's a, that's a tough question and a good one. Um, when you deal with concepts like immortality or transcendence, you're, you're already in trouble because you're, you're trying to use linear language in order to describe something that's virtually indescribable. In a way, you can say it's, it's the same problem. I mean, not many of us have experienced, maybe we have, but maybe not call it that for moments or so, something that we would call transcendence or immortality. But if you then try to describe it, the mystics have always had this problem of trying to describe what they felt, and they have to resort to metaphor. But let's say, um, if you try to describe moonbeams to the blind, you'll get nowhere. If you try to describe sex to eunuchs, they'll get angry. Um, <laughs> so, in, 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 you cannot sort of describe, you cannot talk about an esoteric tradition to the emotionally defective and the spiritually dyslexic which is part of the great problem of conveying this kind of information to the academic world, because that's what mainly the academic world consists of. Um, so when we, when we deal with... <coughs> when we, so when we're talking about things like immortality, I can, let's say, explain it in terms that satisfy me, but if they don't satisfy, if they don't communicate to you, there's almost nothing I can do about it. But somebody else's explanation might. And immortality is simply the, 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 the fanning of this divine spark into a flame. It's the attainment of, a, of simply of a higher level of consciousness that is outside of time. And this is the message of all of the esoteric and initiatic and shamanic religions that ever were. We have this capacity, but to describe it, is almost useless because you have to, to a certain extent, you have to have the belief, you have to, something has to make convince you that this is possible. And as I said, this is the function of art. You go to Egypt, you go to those temples, you listen to a great piece of music, as I tell you, I mean, I'm, not, I'm being quite literal when I say that the sh Cathedral of Chartres and, and, and Beethoven's late quartet, quartet in C-sharp minor, saved my life. I mean, I mean that quite literally. I mean, it was, it was all absolutely meaningless, and suddenly that stuff was there. And I said, yes, it is, it is there. And I sort of held that and, you know, didn't quite go down under with it. And then gradually over the years became convinced that this was so and that there are paths, there are uh, disciplines that allow you to follow upon that path. But that is immortality. In other words, it's, it's the attainment of that higher level of consciousness and toward that aim, all of Egypt was directed. Now, I hope that is somewhat, that's a satisfactory answer, but it's really as good as words can do, or at least as good as my words can do. You have to, you have to get it, sort of, and then it, the penny drops in the slot, and at a certain moment you say, ah, yes, that, that's what they mean, it's not just words. But until a certain point, until it resonates within you, it really is just words, and it's one of the terrible problems that, that people believing this sort of thing, or people who are sure that this, who know from their own experience um, that, that this is so, have in trying to communicate this to people who are either, and of course you can't convince it to those who are convinced it's not so, but even to those who are open, it is a matter of experience. I mean, if I tried to tell you, um, you know, if I tried to, everybody's, everybody's been in love, so it's easy. But if you had a bunch of people who've never been in love and you tried to tell them, well, here's all this thing. It's a lot of fun, but boy, is it a lot of trouble. And uh, <laughs> you tried to, and you tried to communicate that to people who didn't have this capacity or who had no experience of it, you'd be lost. Well, it's a bit like that with these, with these, with these words, with, when you use words like immortality and, and, and transcendence and transformation.